Hi, what I'm going to show you today is top solid wood, how to draft in top solid wood, and also export into production to say Emory. Okay, so let's kick this off. Now, I'm looking at 3D here, but I'll just go to our plan. And what I'd like to show you today is how to draw from scratch. And let's start off with, say, a curved item. So what I'd like to start off with is the guideline. And here, mid-drawing, I'm going to change the circle, type in the radius. Click on this point here, and just switch back to line. So mid-drawing, you can switch. So here what I'd also like to show you is clearly from this drawing, the circle isn't connecting to the line here. But let the software do the work for you. As so. Let's assign a dimension here. Now, th these dimensions aren't just giving you information, but they're also giving you the ability to change them after also, as I'm showing you right now change that back to 150. So what you're probably used to also is front elevation, end elevation and plan. Here in top solid wood you can also create your own views. So here you can see that this is at an angle. Click on this point here, set it up like so and there you have it. So what I'd like to draw now is a few shapes. This could be my bench top auto dimension. This could be my underside or my back panel. So dimension once again. And this is what we could call a volume. And I'll show you the benefits of a volume in a few minutes. Now if you want this height to be the exact same as this, what you can very easily do afterwards is connect them or this thickness here needs to be the same as this just connect it now what I'm also going to do here is I'm just going to change my view back to this so now we can see in 3D once again and I'm just going to click on my guideline here click on my shape and sweep it out Let's do that again. Click on my guideline, click on the shape, sweep it out. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to just switch the layer there as I've done. Click on that guideline, bring it out once again. Now, if I once again change this angle, 90 degrees, it changes my draw. Change that to, say, 150. Again, it brings it in. 350 and so on okay now I've drawn this item now as well here and I've called it a volume earlier on and what I'm going to do to this volume is I'm going to make it transparent like so but I'm also going to bring it back at an angle could be 20 degrees enter there click on this front and that one there bring it back as you can see there it brought it back and the good thing about this of course it's assigned automatically a dimension 10 degrees brings it forward now if I go to some of my wood functions here as you can see we've got more centene, molding, we've got grooving some we've got drilling, pocketing you know, cam and dowel, screw, biscuiting, and so on. But here we've got a button called Constraint Block. And what that gives me the ability to do is, say for instance, click on this side here and create that shape according to the volume. So once again, if I change this to say 20 degrees, it brings it back. Now, I haven't shown you any library items or anything like that, but if I was to bring in a library item, I can actually bring it into this shape also. So let's just try that out. So I'll just click on this button here, right side, and it's asking me, top back point, click on that. 
top front point, click on this, top or bottom back point, and bring that in there. So it brings it into that volume, and there's multiple parts within that item, and it brings it into that volume, as I said. Now again, if I click on this and I change it to 10 degrees, enter, there we have it. Okay, so that's good. So let's give these items name for cutting this. So let's go back into our wood function once again and let's define multiple parts here. And as you can see from this dialog box now, you can have multiple parts and assign them at the one time. Say for instance, the names. So if we click on that, as you can see, that might be my end right hand. We'll just apply that. And this could be my top. And just apply that once again. So that's some aspects of the drawing um, within top solid. What I'd like to show you now is drafting. So in order to create um, a draft, you go File New, and we'll just bring this in there. So this is my draft page, my title block on the bottom right hand corner. Now let's open up both at the same time, draft page and 3D model. So let's bring in the elevations. Let's bring in maybe front elevation, front or back. Um, make sure that's hidden. Press OK. Bring it in. Right click. Bring it in. Right click again. End elevation. Right click again. 3D view. OK. Now we can edit these views at any stage. So if we click on that one there and we rotate this. Click on that, you can see it's rotated to suit. We'll just increase the size here to 1. Press OK, and as you can see, it's changed it to suit. OK, so let's expand this and also assign dimensions. So we can assign dimensions here on our 3D or on a draft page, like so. Let's assign it to the overall height here. Let's actually create an angle from here to here. There we go. Um, what about from here to here? Bring it out. So that's assigned dimensions. Now let's move these over. So, and let's create a section. How do we create a section? Full section here. So maybe vertical, and we can invert it, so switch, press OK, and bring it out. That's our section. What about detail? Create detail from here, maybe circle, from here to here, and bring it down. Maybe assign a dimension again to this, from here to say here. Or this height or this length. So you can assign your dimensions on your sections and of a course on your details. Let's assign text over here. So again you can set up your own uh, default. Just type in top solid wood, we'll place it in this area and we'll assign it to that point there. So that means if you want to move that text, it'll be assigned to that point. Yeah. Now what we can also do over here is create a bill of materials or cutting this. Now these are just templates and you can set up your own templates of what information you want on your cutting this. It's asking me, yeah, we'll just click on the section here and position it. So that's my information according to this drawing. Sizes, material, name, and so on. So from here, what I can also assign 
is numbers to say this drawn here or indexes. Click on that and it'll assign one, two, three, four numbers according to your cutting list. Now I'm going to open up the 3D model once again. I just want to actually see both. And I'm going to make changes to this model. So maybe increase that to 110. As you can see there, it's changed the dimensions also to suit this. Maybe change this radius to 250. Change the radius there. Uh, maybe the height to uh, 800 change the height also so any changes again you make to your 3d model will be reflected onto your draft page okay now if I go back to my 3d model also and if we go to these wood functions or we can draw say for instance a route path so if I click there, that point there, click that point, so that could be my route point for a groove. Go to my 3D view, go to my wood functions, click on groove, click on the face, and here it brings up a dialog box with different profiles for your tunes which you can create yourself as well, these profiles. Okay. Now we don't want a gap here, but we might want to change a groove width and maybe the depth to maybe 12. Press OK and again it's reflected onto my draft page. So for now that's drafting um, and we'll move on to production then. So I'm just going to open up my 3D model and we've got it almost ready for production. I just want to maybe create a kit build management hole over here and maybe just a cutout in my bench top so you can see the different route paths. So if I go on to my plan once again, maybe draw a circle here with radius 40 mils and maybe a rectangle. Just a cutout. We'll just assign an automatic dimension there. Now let's cut that out. Click on the top, click on that. There you go, that's our cutout. Click on the bench top, click on the path, that's my cutout. Good thing about this is if I move that original drawing, it moves the cutout also. Also, we can edit the dimensions. So I can say, right, well, that needs to be 60. Um, this needs to be 350. Um, and so on. Okay. What I might also change here is just the thickness. So it might be 18 mil board. Or it could be 25, whatever it needs to be. Okay, and now let's export um, through to production. So I'll just save this onto my desktop and I'll call it Top Solid Wood. And we might export these two parts here. Now, this is a very interesting dialog box. It's uh, quantities here we can increase. We can select parts manually, as I'm showing you at the moment, or else we can actually select parts by material or by thickness, whatever it needs to be here. So let's just select them by material, press OK, and it's exported. So now let's open up, open up our ATP here and the top solid wood button here. Add uh, the files I've just after creating, open them up. We've got two parts as you can see there. Business as usual and just process it. As you can see you've got all the appropriate toolpaths 
according to our drawing from top solid wood and it's necessary to suit. What about the labels? Well, it's just after creating our label here. So let's print it to PDF. Now, I'll just save you onto my desktop and it'll open up automatically. So there you have it. Um, the full uh, design to build philosophy behind top solid wood. A few other features also of top solid wood that might take your interest is that all these toolbars here are completely customizable according to what you use. So you can add and remove these. You can even create your own shortcut keys. What we've also got the ability to do is open over 35 different file formats including you know AutoCAD of course, SketchUp and we can create even uh, 3D PDFs as well if we go into our file save as also so here we go 3D PDF okay so there you have it this once again is top solid wood um, drafting uh, how to draw from scratch the customness or bill of materials and also sending it through to production to enlarge okay bye now